so welcome back guys in this video we are going to see the dashboard page and functional category tabs so as you can see I have logged into the firewall Palo Alto firewall and as soon as I log into the firewall I can see all these tabs here and in this tab we have a important tab which is dashboard tab uh, basically what it do we're going to explain and then we will go with small small things so what you can see on these tabs here okay so be with me now the dashboard this guy it provides general information such as device name as you can see management IP address what you have licensing information if you are uh, having a proper license it will provide you that details as well so you can see here there's something of VM license so this is a demo involvement so you'll be not finding license here then uh, this page can be augmented by adding widget so if you can see here there is a widget tab I mean the option so you can basically go here and depending on your application requirement you can add this widget here so for example if I want to add the interface details so I can add here if I am doing some availability or some sort of logging so just for the sake I can add those details here from this widget okay now uh, if you see closely you can see here this widget I just uh, take off from here so that uh, whatever I mean the widget you want you can take in take off so already if you see uh, if I go to the application I can see ACC risk factor is already present that's why it's great but these two options are not present here you can add that's why those are not great in system I can see general information you can see here there's something called general information uh, interface high availability so which is grayed out you can see uh, here and which are not you can add them like wise you it's it's up to you it's your functionality and, and feasibility requirement right so now uh, it's self explanatory if you come to the general information uh, all general information related to your device will be present here the important information which we require is this guy uh, the serial number we have this uh, VM involvement and uh, the file is not licensed so we will be not getting the serial details but this is important when you want to add the this device to the uh, into the panel and do more functionality like having this number you can you know add this device to the Palo Alto support center and get a support from them likewise you can do whatever you like to do on this so this is the dashboard tab guys <coughs> now next one is your ACC tab so basically this uh, <coughs> ACC tab you can use and the uses uh, it uses the firewall logs to graphically depict traffic trained on your network so whatever logs you have from the firewall those logs you can see here and those logs those can be graphically depict here so right now you are seeing no logs because uh, there is no as such configuration on this but uh, when the configuration happens uh, you can see the logs as per the 
whatever the graphic uh, they have here like network activity thread activity uh, block activity uh, if you like you can you know add details from here what widget you want for example here if I want to add whatever I want so consider I wanted to uh, see some activities related to the uh, URL filtering zone whatever it is you can you know, just add those details right and if you have a proper license of that you can add those tabs here right so this is the flexibility what they have so basically it uses the firewall logs to graphically depict traffic train on your network that is what the use of this SEC now uh, next tab is monitor so the monitor tab provides logging visibility and the ability to run packet captures so whatever the logs you will have you can see those logs from here and you can filter it out as per your requirement so as you can see here some tabs uh, you can add log filters so what source you want what destination you want you know like that you can add the attributes the values and everything and those filters you can you know uh, apply here and based on that uh, you will see the the output here so this is the plane where you see the output of uh, your filter and generally uh, it gives you the latest details whatever the logs going on with the firewalls and all those things okay uh, and if you see there is a lot of options available what logs what traffic logs you wanted to see so the general traffic log trait log your footing log uh, you know like that you can see all things here and the important thing here you can do uh, which generally use for the troubleshooting purpose uh, which is this guy uh, packet capture so you can capture the packet uh, and you can run those captures I mean capture in a pickup and run those capture in a Wireshark to see the detail output right so depending on the whatever requirement you have you just apply those syntax here and then capture the packet and you know go for the uh, Wireshark for more details on this so you can do that here and there are other options like you know the reports pdf reports manage reports you can you know generate your reports from this tab so this is very important tab in terms of performing the troubleshooting analysis of your logs traffic and uh, rest of the things now next tab uh, is policy tab <laughs> so uh, policy tabs allows the creation of policies such as security policies and net policies so here also you can see uh, there is an option where you can have the ability to create a logging uh, sorry to create uh, policies so in a security tab you can have the flexibility where you can add your policies here you can add the policies if you click add a button the policy pair things are uh, open for example if I just say add so it will give you the security policy rule details and based on your sole destination application everything you can add those details and then the rule will be come here right and once you commit it it will start impacting likewise you can do the matting NAT policies so you you can add the NAT policies here as well so basically policy page is more of your uh, gives the or allows you the creation of policies such as security policies and NAT policies also it has flexibility like you can apply the QoS policy based forwarding decryption application overloading captive portal those protections and the latest version having more options here so all this you can you know perform from this policy tab okay next is the object 
so uh, basically this object tab allows the creation of objects such as address object network object uh, service object so all these things you can see here like address address group uh, you can have the services service group uh, the global product profile uh, this custom object uh, security profiles all these things so all this flexibility is here provided on this object tab so it basically allows the creation of the object and those object details likewise from here you can as per requirement you can create and you know apply and then next is your network tab network tab allows the configuration of network parameters such as interface and zones so it has a fee it, it basically allows the configuration of network parameters such as your interface and zones so as you can see here uh, see the interfaces uh, what IP address you have onto the interfaces whether the state of the interface is up down uh, and then uh, what are these zones and all those details can configure likewise if you go to the zone you will see the zone configuration what zone configuration you have done then VLANs, virtual wire, virtual router, IPsec tunnels uh, and all these options like uh, with the you know VPNs and everything so all the networking tasks networking related work you can deliver from this network tab now next is device so the device tab allows the configuration of a system information such as host name banners so basically whatever the basic configuration with respect to firewall you can do from the device tab so as you can see there is a management operation service content id wildfire session HTML, and all these configuration you can do from this device tab so for example if i come here to the management and setting tab you can see i have given the ip address of the management it mask default gateway uh, what services in develop likewise it can be used to configure all those settings okay and here you can see uh, all the options present uh, what you can do from this so you can configure the high availability uh, you can configure the password profile administrator details which administrator can be allowed not allowed uh, likewise there's a lot of options present as per the our day-to-day -day admin requirement so all this can be done from this option so I hope uh, you will be able to understand the basics of this as we progress in this course we can you know talk more about the options and configuration part but for now you have to know what is the purpose of this uh, web interface option right so hope this part is clear to you now at the bottom you can see there's something called task so the task icon appear at the bottom right right uh, select it whenever you want to display the task that you or other administrator or the you know the pan OS software has initiated since the firewall uh, last firewall report for example uh, if manual commit or automatic fkdn refreshes happen so all these things you can you know see from this taskbar so as you can see here whatever the things happen uh, since the firewall last reboot you can see all those details from this option okay so if some admin done some work you can see what he has done and what he has committed all those details you can find here so this is also a very important uh, point or option we have